Hello guys, in uh, today's video I'll show you how to create a USB installer uh, for PF scenes. So first, obviously you will need the um, image or the ISO file for the latest versions from uh, PF scene. So you can head over PF scene and go to their download sections. Uh, by the way, all the link for the tutorial will be available um, down um, under the descriptions. Alright, uh, so the versions obviously you can pick it. Uh, current version right now is 244, 44, and dash P1. The uh, architecture is gonna be um, AMD 64 bit unless you have um, purchased the NetGate device, then you're gonna select the second option. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna use uh, AMD uh, 64 bit. And uh, in installers, uh, you can select either the USB memory stick or CD uh, image. I don't see any different with it. Um, it's just that the CD image is in dot uh, uh, ISO and uh, the USB memory stick gonna be dot uh, image. Not much different. And uh, console, whether the serial or VGA, uh, for those that utilize a um, uh, repurposed uh, computer, like the own computer, thin client or laptop, uh, most likely your option is going to be uh, VGA. And uh, just see like uh, whatever that uh, server that closest uh, to uh, wherever you live. Mm. It take a while to download the file, so I actually downloaded the file already. The next step is to um, do the checksum, make sure that um, the file is not damaged uh, or corrupted during uh, transmissions. So right here they're saying that uh, um, the method to generate it hash is a SHA 256 error read uh, for the compress dot uh, gz file. So basically, uh, you have to generate um, the checksum before you uncompress uh, the file. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And luckily on window, you already have the PowerShell that actually have a utility to generate hash. So that's a good thing. <coughs> we don't have to download any other program, but if you're not uh, comfortable using uh, CUI or command line interface and um, you can always download a free utility online to uh, generate a checksum but whatever way you refer but uh, I think that is good that you know how to use um, the um, CUI to do the checksum instead of download the program all right uh, first we're gonna do the CD or uh, change directory to change it to um, wherever that you save the download file. I'm gonna copy it, and there it is. And I'm gonna do the um, ls list command to list all the um, file that currently are in that directory. Mm, let me check it out a little bit and do it list one more time. There you go. So now I have the name fully in one line and next I'm going to use the cert you to uh, that come with uh, window 10 all right and the next one gonna be uh, the name of the file you see right here I already have the dot image that the one that I already extracted and the one that we're gonna try to generate the um, Checksum is gonna be uh, the other hash file are gonna be the dot zz or the compressed uh, compressed file. I'm gonna copy that one. And paste it in there. And then it's gonna be SHA256. And enter. And here you go, it generate a hash for you. And you can compare it with the one that provided on the website, and it match would mean that uh, our file uh, retain its integrity uh, during uh, transmissions. The file is not corrupt or uh, damaged in any way. So now that we know that we have a good uh, file, the next step is to uh, 
uh, push it to uh, USB. Unfortunately, on Windows, it uh, it it can be done uh, using the command line interface, but it's gonna be a hassle. It difficult. It not like in um, uh, Linux or uh, Mac OS, which is you can just utilize a um, terminal and uh, you can push the file to, to USB. It's super easy. Uh, for Windows, the easiest way is that using the um, utility. So I will include a did link um, under the description too. Uh, we're gonna use the like the uh, passmark software, the image USB. I have using this um, for multiple um, ISO and burn it to the USB, uh, and it worked amazing. Uh, I highly recommend it. So we're gonna go ahead and download this one. And I'm gonna put it on a desktop for now, make it easy. All right, it's on the desktop, but uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not on the desktop then, cause um, my uh, <coughs> I actually disabled the um, desktop for my uh, screen recording. We're just gonna put it in the same folder. Make it easier. All right. Just gonna track it to that ISO already then. And now we head back to our ISO folder, and there you go. You got the image. Uh, you can go ahead and delete the zip file. Image USB. And there you go. Um, I already have a Samsung flash drive in there. Let's see, like that one. <coughs> and it automatically pick up the. Um, Actually, not automatically pick up, but uh, I use this before, so it still remember. But I go ahead and route it and select the PFC in again. And uh, you can uh, you you have option to select uh, beep and completion uh, completion, so it lets you know hey this this uh, finish. And uh, that's it. All you do is hit right, and yes. And everything gonna be automatic. It gonna write a image file to the USB, and you will be able to boot uh, the USB installer from your uh, computer. And keep in mind that um, you will need to um, change the BIOS setting or UEFI configurations um, to boot from USB in order to uh, boot to uh, boot into the USB installations. And uh, before, uh, actually, before I wrap up the tutorial, I highly recommend that you using uh, the Samsung USB. Uh, it <coughs> it's super uh, durable and uh, it fast. <sighs> Let me. And uh, before you. Um, uh, it already finished and be sh uh, be before you take out uh, remove the USB from the computer make sure that you s do the separately remove hardware and eject the flash drive instead of pulling it out from your uh, your computer doing so it can actually corrupt the file on the USB and we do not want to do that all right eject it and uh, that's it for my uh, tutorial guys, uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you think the video is uh, useful, uh, please uh, hit like, subscribe and uh, share with your significant other or your friend um, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.